What's up guys, Root from NoShell.com here today, and let's take a look at Python again. I'm going to fire up idle, you can do the same. We'll create a new program here, as always. We'll save this as a uh, file.python, as always. Let's get our shebang line, as always. If I can type it in correctly, because I never can do that, as never. <laughs> and then, uh, let's get our class... How many times have we done this? How many, how many times? What is it now? 43? Something like that? I don't know. Uh, yeah, we're going to need that constructor thing. <laughs> Got to pass in that, that self keyword thing. want to test for that thing with, you know, using that assignment operator thing. At least comparison operator. That's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking. And root. Root is what we're using to assign. Okay. And now, let's just get a... Let's get some standard output in here. Hello, world. New line, new line, because I like new lines. They're curvy. There you go. So now what we're going to take a look at today is the absolute value function, or ABS. Now, ABS would normally return the, uh, obviously, the absolute value of, an, of, a, of any number. So we can pass in, like, 10. And uh, we should print that out. And we get 10. We get, uh, we pass in 30. We get 30. We pass in, uh... Negative five. That that's all. Negative five. And you get five because what the absolute value of a number is, it's really just it's a distance from zero. So if you ever happen to have a negative number, it's always going to be a positive, the positive form of that number. So this is probably a really really easy function to write out. So uh, let's do it. Let's just try it out here. Let's define absolute value, and we can pass in um, self. And then obviously we're going to need another parameter for the number. What if they had passed in a string, though? We should probably, we could test for some type. If the integer, actually if the type of number is a string, could very easily change this to uh, number is equal to the integer form of... Yeah, number. <laughs> I lost my train of thought there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to say if... Um, negative... If number is less than zero, if it's negative, if the number is a negative number, number can... Multiply or equal by negative one. So now number is going to be positive if it's less than negative. I'm sorry, if it's less than zero. If it is negative, we multiply by negative one and it becomes positive. There, done. <laughs> so if it if it's not, we can just plan on return the number because we don't really have to do too much work with it. So uh, let's try something like this. Let's we've got our function all set. It looks it anyway, and we can just do print self dot absolute value. We can pass in four. Oh, I have an error. Why is this? If number is less than zero... Okay. Yeah, I guess I just had an extra space or something. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. If the self... If, if we're running the absolute value function, we pass in any number to it. Let's say we can have ten this time. We get ten. If we pass in maybe uh, twenty, we get twenty. If we pass in negative 20, we get 20. If we pass in negative 500, 654, whatever, we can save that, we get negative, I'm sorry, we get positive 654. What if we pass in a string, though? What if we did negative 654 as a string? What if we did um, negative 10? We would get 10. What if we just did um, g? It's going to give us a problem because that just doesn't make sense. So, don't do that, though. <laughs> I mean, I see no reason why you would ever want to pass in a letter when you're trying to find the absolute value of something. You being the programmer, you can control when you call functions and why, and you should make sure if there are any integers inside that, uh, inside, inside your string before you, like, try and pass that to an absolute value function. But the absolute value function is plain old simple. If it's less than zero, if it's a negative number, turn it into a positive number, and you should be set.
and we had we added support for a little bit of strings here, and there's not much to worry about. So easy tutorial for you guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. It'd be cool if you could give me a comment, maybe leave a like. I think you should uh, you should give me a like and maybe leave a comment, <laughs> and uh, maybe subscribe. I don't know. It's whatever you'd like to do. But I will see you again in the next tutorial. Bye.